syllabubs, blamange, flummery, etc. To make everlasting syllabubs. Take three pints of the thickest and sweetest cream you can get, a pint of Rhenish, half a pint of sack, three lemons, near a pound of double refined sugar, beat and sift your sugar, and put it to the cream. Grate off the yellow rind of three lemons, put that in, and squeeze the juice of three lemons into your wine. Put that to the cream, beat all together with a whisk just half an hour, then take it up all together with a spoon, and fill your glasses. Another way to make everlasting syllabubs. Take a quart of the thickest cream you can get. Make it very sweet with double refined sugar finely beat. Grate in the yellow rind of two large lemons. First fill your glasses one third full of sack or any white wine sweetened. A little juice of orange just to give it a pleasant tartness. Then with a whisk beat it up well to a froth. Take the froth and with a spoon put it in your glasses as high as you can fill them. Keep it whisking up as long as it will froth and put it in the glasses. If your cream is thin, beat up the yolk of an egg. To make a mock syllabub. Take a pint of sack and a pint of red port, the juice of a large lemon and a Seville orange. Grate in the yellow rind of one of the lemons and a little nutmeg. Make it pretty sweet with fine sugar. Take two quarts of new milk from the cow. Make it blood warm. Put it in a jug with a spout. Hold it high and pour it in as if milked from the cow. When it has stood five minutes, have ready a pint of good warm cream and pour that all over in the same manner. It will be best to eat directly, but very good two or three hours after. To make a syllabub under the cow. Put a bottle of either red or white wine, ale or cider into a china bowl. Sweeten it with sugar and grate in some nutmeg. Then hold it under the cow and milk into it till it has a fine froth at the top. Strew over it a handful of currants, clean washed and picked, and plumped before the fire. You may make this syllabub at home by having new milk made as warm as from the cow, and pouring it out of a teapot or any other vessel with a spout, holding your hand very high. To make lemon syllabubs. Take a quarter of a pound of loaf sugar in one piece, and rub it on the rind of two lemons till you have got all the essence out of them. Then put the sugar into a pint of cream and a gill of mountain wine. Squeeze in the juice of both the lemons and let it stand for two hours. Then whip it with a whisk or mill it with a chocolate mill. And as the froth rises, take it off and put it on a sieve to drain. Let it stand all night, then put the clear into the glasses, and with a spoon put on the froth as high as you can. To make blancmange with isinglass. Put an ounce of picked isinglass to a pint of water. Put to it a bit of cinnamon and boil it till the isinglass is melted. Put to it three quarters of a pint of cream, two ounces of sweet almonds and six bitter ones, blanched and beaten, and a bit of lemon peel. Sweeten it, stir it over the fire, and let it boil. Strain it, stir it till it is cool, squeeze in the juice of a lemon, and put it into what mould you please. Turn it out, garnish with currant jelly and jam, or marmalade, quinces, etc. If you choose to have your blancmange of a green colour, put in as much juice of spinach as will be necessary for that purpose, and a spoonful of brandy. 
but it should not then retain the name of blanc mange or white food but verd mange green food if you would have it yellow dissolve a little saffron in it you should then call it jean mange or you may make it red by putting a bit of cochineal into a little brandy let it stand half an hour and strain it through a bit of cloth it is then entitled to the appellation of rouge mange always wet the mould before you put in the blancmange it may be ornamented when turned out by sticking about it blanched almonds sliced or citron according to fancy to make clear blancmange take a quart of strong calf's foot jelly skim off the fat and strain it beat the whites of four eggs put it into a jelly bag and run it through several times till it is clear beat one ounce of sweet almonds and one of bitter to a paste with a spoonful of rose water squeezed through a cloth mix it with the jelly and three spoonfuls of very good cream set it over the fire again and keep stirring it till it is almost boiling pour it into a bowl and stir very often till it is almost cold then wet your moulds and fill them to make blancmange with a preserved orange fill your orange with blancmange and when cold stick in it long slips of citron like leaves pour blancmange in the dish when cold set the orange in the middle garnish with preserved or dried fruits or you may pour blancmange into a mould like a turk's cap lay round it jelly a little broken put a sprig of myrtle or small preserved orange on the top to make almond flummery boil three ounces of hartshorn in two quarts of spring water let it simmer over the fire six or seven hours till half the water is consumed or else put it in a jug and set it in the oven with household bread strain it through a sieve and beat half a pound of almonds very fine with a quantity of orange flower water when they are beat mix a little of your jelly with it and some fine sugar strain it with the rest of the jelly stirring it till it is a little more than blood warm then pour it into your basins or cups and when you use them stick in almonds cut small to make isinglass flummery put six ounces of isinglass into a quart of new milk sweeten it set it over the fire and keep it stirring one way all the time till it is jellied pour it into your basins and when cold turn it out you may put in orange flower water if you choose to make oatmeal flummery take oatmeal steep it in pure clean water till it turns sour stir it every day strain it and put it in a kettle over the fire keep stirring it with a stick one way all the time till it is as thick as hasty pudding then pour it into your basins and when cold turn it out you may eat it with milk ale or wine sweetened to make a pretty sort of flummery put three large handfuls of oatmeal ground small into two quarts of fair water let it steep a day and night then pour off the clear water and put the same quantity of fresh water to it strain it through a fine hair sieve and boil it till it is as thick as hasty pudding stir it all the while that it may be very smooth when you first strain it before you set it on the fire put in one spoonful of sugar and two of good orange flower water when it is boiled enough pour it into shallow dishes for use 
to make hartshorn flummery put half a pound of hartshorn shavings into a saucepan with three pints of water boil it gently till reduced to a pint strain it into a basin and set it by to cool boil a pint of thick cream and let it get cold put the jelly on and make it blood warm put the cream to it with a gill of white wine two spoonfuls of orange flower water sweeten it with fine sugar and beat it till well mixed dip your moulds or cups in cold water then put in the flummery when it is cold turn it out into a dish and mix a little cream white wine and sugar together and pour it into the dish cut a few blanched almonds in long slips and stick in the top of the flummery another way to make hartshorn flummery put four ounces of hartshorn shavings into a saucepan with two quarts of spring water let it simmer over the fire till reduced to a pint or put it into a jug and set it in the oven with household bread strain it through a sieve into a stew pan blanch and beat half a pound of sweet almonds with a little orange flower water mix a little of your jelly in and fine sugar enough to sweeten it strain it through a sieve to the other jelly mix it well together and when it is blood warm put it into moulds or half pint basins when it is cold dip the moulds or basins in warm water and put them into a dish mix some white wine and sugar together and pour into the dish you may stick almonds in if you please to make welsh flummery put a little isinglass to a quart of stiff hartshorn jelly add to it a pint of cream a little brandy and some lemon juice and sugar boil this till it is thick then strain it you may if you please add three ounces of almonds blanched and beaten about ten bitter ones to make yellow flummery beat and open two ounces of isinglass put it into a bowl and over it a pint of boiling water cover it up till it is almost cold add a pint of white wine the rind of one and the juice of two lemons the yolks of eight eggs well beat and sweeten to your taste then put it into a tossing pan and continue stirring it when it boils strain it and when almost cold put it into moulds or cups to make solomon's temple in flummery having made a quart of stiff flummery divide it into three parts make one part of a pretty thick colour with a little cochineal bruised fine and steeped in french brandy scrape one ounce of chocolate very fine dissolve it in a little strong coffee and mix it with another part of your flummery to make it a light stone colour the last part must be white then wet your temple mould and fix it in a pot to stand even fill the top of the temple with red flummery for the steps and the four points with white then fill it up with chocolate flummery let it stand till the next day loosen it round with a pin and shake it loose very gently but do not dip your mould in warm water as it will take off the gloss and spoil the colour when you turn it out stick a small sprig or flower stalk down from the top of every point which will strengthen them and make them look pretty lay round it rock candy sweetmeats it is proper for a corner dish for a large table to make french flummery take a quart of cream and half an ounce of isinglass beat fine and stir them together let it boil softly over a slow fire a quarter of an hour stirring it all the time 
then take it off the fire sweeten it to your palate and put to it a spoonful of rose and orange flower water strain it pour it into glasses or basins and when cold turn it out and lay round it baked pears End of section 17